What is up, guys? Welcome back to Sea of Stars. Last time, we um we finished the Mushroom Swamp. We met Yamara, and then we did a little backtracking in the Dakari village, Dakari village area and found some new stuff, as well as built the inn and the shop in Mirth. So now, let's continue to the Clockwork Tower. We have to find an innkeeper still as well, but we'll find them eventually, I'm sure. If not, I'll look it up. It's fine. All right, Clockwork Castle. Let's do it. Now, shit's about to get real. The gate's locked. It won't budge. We'll go around the side then. I like how we're in a desert all of a sudden. Oh god, we got a new drummer. He's not an ice man, though. He's a rock man. Okay, swords and poison for you. Well, can we do that in two turns? No. Let's just do this. Oh yeah, we can. Duh. Do that. Let Roly Poly bop somebody here. Nice block. And you swap out with Sarai, who will stop this guy. Nice. Yeah, we're in a new area, so it looks different now. But it's still the same overall art, if that's what you mean. Yeah, it should still look this. It still is like the same pixel art style, but we're in a desert now instead of a, a forest or a jungle. I cannot block that for some reason. There we go. Get your MP back. Easy peasy. They drop potatoes and onions and meat. The guys look different? Like the enemies, you mean? Or what do you mean? I like that. Did we have that last time? Oh, it's just from a rock. Okay. The huh. I like that. The rock. Alright, so let's go down first. Oh, I think it's just for this, uh, for the berries. Yeah. Alright, we need bopped. Oh, I... Sorry, Garl. That was not looking at the right thing there. Alright, let's try something here. Noise. Splash damage. I don't think she can kill on one move. Oh, she can. Nice. Hell yeah. Clean. I see a treasure chest. Cog prototype. Oh, I think that's for our boy here. Uh... Oh, hold on. Is that a key item? It is. Teak oh, it's for teaks. Nice. Oh yeah, there's definitely shadows. This it, is it's a lot redder, I guess, and there's shadows. I can I can make it brighter outside, I think. This is bright as it gets. <laughs> uh, we don't really need to rest yet, but we will anyway because why not? these guys all right off we go uh, I don't think we interact with now so there must be that, that wall looks like it could, be, it could be broken but not right now all right that's a very uh, malicious looking door the clockwork castle we made it the dweller of strife is somewhere in there Oh, 
Oh, it's actually opening? I am surprised by that. Is something gonna walk out now? Mm, you! Oh shit! We are bound by oath not to let you enter the Acolyte's headquarters. And what about your oath as Solstice Warriors? Am I rocking the Top Gun rooster mustache? Hell yeah, Kenny. Well, so I did the 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 uh, Halloween costume last night, which made me have a goatee, and I'm not a goatee guy. So I like either have a full beard or a mustache, so I had to go with the mustache for now. I like the mustache, personally. Kelsey's on the fence about it, but I like it. That one was not taken willingly. Valir, please hear me out. Step aside right now. Stick to the plan, Brugaves. The Dweller will knock some sense into them. Fine. We only need to buy some time. Please, Zell, surrender. Forget it. Then it brings me no joy, but we must ensure the Acolytes finish the waking ritual. Do your worst. Bring it. <clears throat> uh, hey, I think we should sit this one out. Hey, squad. Oh, come on. All right, so we can't stop Brewgaves. I'm betting Erlina has less HP, though, because she's a caster. Um, Let's play defensively. Moon Chakus. Ow. This could have been easily solved with a gun. You're not wrong. Three sword hits. How the fuck am I going to pull that off? I guess I'm not. Oh, if I would have did that right, we could have. Shit. Just smack her. Go OG Solstice Warriors. They're not even OGs. Bitch. Get blocked. Okay, so... We'll have to stop Brew Games then. And then we can do this, but it's not really going to do what I want it to do. Oh shit. We can heal him up though. Uh, this actually will stop him. Now, Zell, you're going to heal yourself. I missed the button press. So you haven't been following the series super close, but does Solar do more damage to like Lunar and vice versa? I am assuming so, Kenny. If we can get that item from the one vendor, it'll tell us that. But certain enemies are weaker to Solar than Lunar and etc. Same with like slashing versus uh, blunt damage. Uh, combos we can do we can't we can stop him we can't stop her though or mm, I guess technically we could if I solstice strike with an empower let's stop him Price Searing Pyramid. Healing Rain. Oh, fuck. We should have stopped her. Great. There goes a bunch of our work down the drain. Do 
too early. Let's pop the Sunarang on them. This is our best combo we have together right now. I think Sunarang would have sounded cooler. It was like Sun and Moon combined, so it's Sunarang. Okay, so we can't stop her now. That's unfortunate. I should not have done what I did, but it's fine. All right, that's fine. Not when you miss all the combos. Um, let's do this. Oh, Orlina looks weak, actually. This is good. She's faltering, I think. Look at her. She looks like she's tired. And she should be weaker to, to lunar damage than solar damage, I think. Arlena down. No more heals for them. Alright, just brew games now. Arlena uses full heal. Honestly, I was waiting for something like that to happen. Let's give him a sunball. And brew games goes down. That should be enough. You can still join us if. Get lost! Don't you dare! Let's go, brew games. Remember, we know why they're acting the way they are. They want to stop the cycle, which good, but also not good. They have a skill issue. We aren't full healed, right? Oh shit, we are after that fight. Nice. I guess they just do that because you can just go right back there and full heal anyway. So I assume we're supposed to go inside, but there might be something over here worth finding and... Sturdy Cog, there's an upgrade for our boy Garl. Oh, and a lever. Did I pull that lever already? I don't remember doing that if I did. Okay, I... Were we over here already? I don't remember this. I think we were. Oh, yeah. I guess we pulled the lever already. Whatever, it's fine. I wanted the shiny, so it worked out. I guess we'll save, just in case something bad happens. Pull the lever. Wrong lever. <laughs> oh, is the front door open now? Nice. <laughs> Emperor's new groove reference acquired. Oh, look at all this. Dude's stuffs. Alright, cool. It's a lot of shit in here. Holy crap. Peaches. Oh, there's some potatoes over here. If you've never seen the movie, you know the reference. It's good. Emperor's New Groove. Alright, we got a cuckoo monster and clock zombies. Not the timing, now I do. Uh, actually... Let's try this. Nice damage, holy shit. Alright, get your MP back. There we go. Clean! The key to, the bo to any boss fight, throw off their groove. You're not wrong. Chair! Can't sit in it. Oh, look at that. This is like, uh, we got some of the, uh, the Dweller bullshit here now. 
So these things are, yeah, the Strife minions are weak to lunar, like, like lunar or solar abilities. Oh, they're too far apart. All right, we'll just bonk this guy then. There we go. Um. Yeah, these are regular enemies, so they're not weak to uh, that in particular. Got it! Sandwich! <laughs> you know what? I wonder, actually... All right, they're not weak to that either. Oh, that's it. I was waiting for it to, to like, you have to like put an object on it, but apparently you just step on the, the button. If they get a new groove, then you have to find out what the new groove is compared to the old groove. Garden key will need that. I, I like his method as well. He just throws food at you. If it's not a sandwich, it's an apple. I mm, game. I hit the button. Not bad. Uh, I don't think we can kill this one in one shot, though. Wow. Okay, it's vulnerable to that. Never mind. He just man just chooses violence and starts to fight. Oh no. It's a puzzle. I don't know what to do. Alright, that's obvious. Am I stuck down here? Oh no, we have to solve it. Am I oh am I stuck down here? Oh. Oh. I see, it clicks onto that. All right, so that allows you to get out. You have to get another box over here though. I'm guessing you have to push it to the other side, but... You need something to stop it right here. I didn't know these are those little things stop it. There we go. You're right, Kenny. Dude, if it wasn't for chat, we'd be here forever. We'd never leave. I don't know what this is doing. Oh. I, I didn't even notice on the ground there, like that these were able to stop it.
Because you can run over them, so I didn't even, didn't even click that those would stop the box. No, that's fine. We, we would have been here a while, probably. We're playing the game together anyway, right? It's all of our first times. Except for Cookie, who's not spoiling anything anyway. Those little holes are for right there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Oh, hi, people. Let's rest here. We can we can cook as well. Let's see, we have a parfait. What does this do? That's actually really good. That's a party thing too. Oh hell yeah, we're making this. A crustad. Oh, actually, let's set up camp real quick. We have a story from Teeks to read. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let me see here. Let's see here, rather. The Clockwork Castle. When, Amph when Aferol first arrived in our realm, he, f he brought with him a group of kid geniuses. It if stories are to be believed, Kale and his friends had struck a deal with him to free their people. In the Fleshmancer's new base of operations, they would toil away, creating machines for obscure uses in his realm in realms unknown. But such a base had yet to be built, so as always, Aferol set out to locate the best collaborator there was to be found. He needed someone, someone morally neutral, for it was execution he desired, not competition. With his new lair, he would prove himself superior to Rashan by building a castle that would control time within itself. The watchmaker was the perfect fit. She was only interested in her craft and otherwise had no interest in Aferol's machinations. All she asked for in return was a workshop of her own where she could be left to her devices. The deal was struck and together they designed the Clockwork Castle. The watchmaker began drafting schematics for the kids to start production on, while she handled the more intricate parts herself. Meanwhile, Aferol enchanted countless cogs and bricks, giving them an aura of magic that none could understand. Construction was almost complete when Kel and his crew made their move. One night, they flipped exactly the right cogs so that once the castle's perpetual movement was activated, its core function would backfire. They had no goal in mind other than foiling the Fleshmancer's plans, and in that respect, they succeeded uh, resoundingly. What came of the sabotage was that time now came to a halt within the Clockwork Castle, or rather within its inhabitants. And they had planned their trick so well that Aferol didn't even know they'd done it on purpose. There'd be no more impressing Rashawn this time, but he could definitely see more upsides to a workshop that operated forever. As a final touch, he ensured that any mortal leaving the castle would see themselves age instantly by the amount of time they spent inside. Upon completion, Aferol locked everyone inside for a century, ensuring that the Watchmaker and, their, and the children could never leave, lest they die instantly of old age. The watchmaker thought nothing of it and relished the opportunity to focus on her craft for an eternity. Yet in this in this time prison, Kel and his friends would have to work day and night. Proud of having done the right thing, it seems they are at peace with their situation. 
Perhaps getting to be Kids Forever helps in a way. From day one, they would always deliver while adding just the right amount of breakage to give the Fleshmancer countless headaches without raising suspicion. One can only feel gratitude when contemplating this, the suffering that's been delayed or even prevented thanks to their cunning game of wasting Aphrol's time. The end. That was a good story. I like that one. All right. Let's go ahead and rest. And we'll save. These are the kids I assume right here. Lock it. Oh, travelers, would you like to have a look at my wares? Oh, shit. Bamboo slicer upgrade and Shroomy Shivs upgrade. Shit, where, where, what can we sell? All right, we have enough to buy the bamboo slicer or the Shroomy Shivs. That's a better upgrade, I think. All right. Increase the potency of venom attacks. Damn. Uh, we could sell a bunch of berries. What do we need? We need 144. Uh, have you heard they did a remake slash remaster of the original Roarin Kitchen? Yeah, so I've watched the or the original. Is it Roarin Kitchen? I can't say it right, but I I know I've watched the original. I do want to check the remaster out because I like the original, so I'm sure I'll, I'll like the new one too. I probably could buy these somewhere, but whatever. Have to keep working. Talk to Kale. What's your name? Hammer. If you need anything, you should talk to Kale. It's Toe. This is Spike. I'm not Kale. Let me work. This is Kale right here, I assume. Yes, this will do. I can't wait to see their faces. Ahem. Oh, visitors. Nice to meet you. My name is Garl, and these are my friends, Valir, Zell, Sarai, and Rashawn. Hello, everyone. I'm Kel. Is this show as wrapped in controversy as it is good? Um, why is it, wait, I have actually, why is it wrapped in controversy? I don't actually know the answer to that. Or, like, I don't know why it is. I hope it's not rude to ask, but... Are you human? Oh, because of the creator. Okay. I'll have to look into it. I've never, I didn't know that. Pretty wrinkly for a kid, huh? That's because my friends and I have been 10 years old for a very long time. What do you mean? I've never played Kenshi before um, AXZ, but I've heard of it before. It looks cool. Is it what I'm thinking of? Hold on. I want to look this up really quick. Yeah, so I've heard of this game, but I've never played it before. I've actually watched someone play it at one point. It's like an open world sandbox type game. It looks cool. Anyways, back to Kale. Time. What about it? It doesn't pass within this castle. Or rather, it doesn't pass within the bodies of its residents. We cannot die of natural causes, but we must remain here always. This time, prison has been our home for centuries. If we were to leave, we would instantly age and die. So that's the gist of it. Whoa, that's grim. We just heard the story, but Garl doesn't know that. It's okay, we like it here. Plus, we get to be kids forever. How cool is that? Even though making machines for the bad guy ain't exactly our preference, it sure beats the alternative. And what's the alternative? Ask the assassin. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, was Sarai from here? Anyway, what brings you here? We're not gonna ask her? We came to confront the Acolytes and take down the Dweller of Strife. Oh yeah? For that, you would have to get through that big door leading to the Ritual Room. But in order to do that, you would need to fetch the Watchmaker's Master Key atop the Clock Tower. 
And in order to do that, you would need to break the magic seal on the door leading to the clock tower. So you're out of luck. And what makes you think you could take on a dweller anyway? Valerian Zell are solstice warriors. Really? Prove it. Bring the knight. Watch this. Whoa! No way! Did you see that? Valir, was it? Come here, please. Now touch this crystal with your palm. Convenient. It worked! Kale, you're a genius! What was that? The proof that Eclipse magic can be catalyzed. The implications are beyond words. Does this mean you can help? Yes, this experiment changes everything. We have a device that can help you against the Dweller of Strife. You can enter the clock tower now. Just need to get the master key while we finish our preparations. The acolytes are in for a surprise. Let's just say he went and had some stuff that wasn't ripe. Oh god, that's horrible. That was so cool! I wish I could... could that wasn't cool, but the, what they're saying is cool. I wish I could control the light too. Let's try! <laughs> Come on, we have to finish preparing the device before they return. Do the thing with us, Kale. Okay, but just for a little bit. Aw. Well, they are kids. That makes sense. You think they should have bought an explosive? I'm not gonna lie. Would pop that door open with ease? But but magical beam is cooler, retry. Oh, I have to... Okay. Oh! Oh, it's time-based. I didn't realize that. Noise. Uh, forward. Can I have both of them activated at the same time? No. All right, we'll go right first then. Yeah, I could see why of if that if something like that happened, why the franchise would be put in a weird place. I bet a lot of people don't even know about that. I don't know how. I mean, I didn't know about that, but I also don't really follow a lot of that kind of stuff, like with anime creators and stuff. But I bet a lot of people don't know. Oh, that was a Garl? I forgot it was a Beam? Oh, sorry Garl, I didn't... Oh, whatever. Dude, I cannot... I cannot block for Garl. That was pure luck, but that wasn't that complicated of a puzzle compared to usual. <laughs> What's over here, though? What was that noise? Oh. 
Oh, we need to put something on there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh, I see what to do. Okay. Come on, brain. You got this. For loot! Evergreen leaf. What is that? Max HP plus 30. I guess you're getting that. Enjoy your new... Oh, he has 200 HP now. What do you have again? I... Uh, that would be really good on Valir, actually. Or Zell. What does Zell have? Magic attack and magic defense. Eh, yeah, Rashawn can have it for right now. He has heals, so that would be good on him. All right, so we did this. Well, that didn't solve anything there, right? Did we... Okay. What? Oh. damage. 41 damage is a lot of damage, actually. Noise. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. Is there another lever up here? That was a rainbow conch. Okay. And you get a free rainbow con for your troubles. <laughs> I think we're at 22 now, actually. So we're at the next reward already, which is pretty good. Okay, so that was the first room. Oh, here we go. And that allows us to go back there. We jump down here. We pull this. 
go across here. Oh, sorry, go up here. Then over here. Oh, alright, we gotta solve the puzzle now. That turns that back on. Nice. But there's still something in here to do, obviously. Uh, you know what? Just do it anyway, it's fine. Time for beams. Walk. More beams. Oh, uh, orb. Ow. Good, use dash strike. Your Wi Fi is testing your patience. How come? Is it going in and out? I hate when that happens. Level up! It's been a minute. Alright, Valir, what are you getting? Good hit points. Uh, Sarai will go with... What is your mana at? 15? Let's bump that up to 16. Garl will go defense. Zell, let's go with your attack, and Rashawn will do magic attack. All right, now, item. Blue leaf, what does that do? Max MP plus five. Um... The undead damage is kind of good, though. You know what? We use her a lot. We'll just we'll buff her MP for now. Oh, we have to climb. I was like, well, how do we get back across? It's this way. We go. Oh, I'm guessing this is probably the, the the big bad, maybe. Okay, yeah. How are we doing on time right now? Oh, we're good still. All right. Oh, we can play uh, the card game or the game right there. Clocks or whatever it's called. Wheels. Are you the watchmaker? Look, we need your master key in order to. Whatever you may need, I take no part in any conflict. The clocks are going off for some reason. Oh! Is that your master key? Quite peculiar how it happened to appear just like that. Are you saying we can take it? I'm, I'm simply pointing out the pecul pe pecul peculiarity of what just happened. Sorry, words are hard. I have work to do. That's a big ass key. You wanna challenge me to a game of wheels? Don't be silly, you haven't even beaten all the champions yet. Oh! So she's the end game wheels opponent. Once we once we get to late, like a later point in the game, we'll try some wheels out. I tried it once and got my ass kicked, but we'll try it again.
Did you get the key? We did. Perfect. The door is just up there. While you keep the acolytes busy, we will sneak the device past the ritual room. It was designed a while ago to fit on the second tower, so you'll have to lure the dweller there somehow. Sounds risky, but I'm sure we can do it. Once you see it in action, you won't regret the hassle. Are you sure it will work? Now that we have confirmed Eclipse Magic can be catalyzed, absolutely. Okay, we have a plan. Well, first... Let's rest. And we'll save. And with that... We are going to wrap this episode up for YouTube right here. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sea of Stars. Next time, I think we're taking on the Dweller of Strife, or at least the Acolytes. So I'll see you then. Peace.